Welcome to a Red Velvet Ninja's Guide for Vascurilus and Pyrobane, also known as Life and Fire in Datascape. You will want to have two tanks and three to four healers. For this encounter, a cleanse is super good to have around. Movement and survivability is also nice to have. To start off, you will want to break the raid into two groups. Most DPS will be on fire, while a smaller group will be hanging out with life. Since this is a life pair, they have a shared health pool of sorts, and dealing with life's mechanics is a pain, so working on fire is so much better. For the life group, you will want to have healers and a tank. Tanks and healers should have wounds, which reduce healing for life, who's always trying to get some back. There's also some healing fields, so just move them out of that stuff. Healers should have a cleanse and snatch up some of the orbs that life shoots out. Aside from the blinding light telegraph, this guy really doesn't do too much. Just keep life under control and you are set, at least for this half of the fight. Fire really doesn't do a ton either. He sends out inferno waves, nothing really new if you're familiar with this guy. Fire also has meteor that falls from the sky, so stay away from others or have others stay away from you to avoid sharing the damage. During this portion of the fight, you really do want to deal a ton of damage, but it's more important that you survive. The less life these guys have before the second half of the fight, the better, because it only gets harder. During the mid phase, you get to blow up these little life orb essence things. These guys can be found in small clumps. Burn them down in a controlled fashion since they deal raid wide damage when they're destroyed. Watch your raid's overall health and make good decisions. To make the fight more complex, there are waves of fire coming at you with a small gap. Try to get in there while working down the essences. Some people will be thorned, thus immobilizing them, and may need to be saved using your extra action button given to you for this portion of the fight. Thorn people should try to line up with the gap in the fire and keep distant from other players, or they will get thorned too. The only way to end this phase is to destroy all the essence orbs, and after that, things start getting crazy. If you weren't doing great DPS before, I hope you're doing it now, since you will have many more mechanics to watch out for. So there are these sweet beehives, flames, and scorpion mechanic. Contagious flames is contagious, so if you have it, keep distance from others. Contagious flames can be run to the beehive, blowing it up. Now, green scorpions will chase other people, and they need to be kited into the lava pool that is created by blowing up the beehive. Or they just keep chasing you. All this while doing the same mechanics from earlier. Easy, right? Basically, handle life's healing abilities, avoid fire's damage abilities. During the mid phase, destroy the orbs, and keep each other safe and topped off. Final phase, deal with the bees, the hives, the scorpions, all combined, and burn hard. And that wraps it up for this encounter. If this video helped you, please drop it a like. For any questions, please use the comments below. Of course, subscribe to this channel for more Wildstar Raid videos and entertainment, or visit us on redvelvetninjas.com.